Hi, and welcome back to Mad Men's maybe sixth iteration of our ripoff of Hot Ones, uh, where we coerce our employees to eating increasingly spicy chicken while getting to know them just a little bit better. Joining us today is Casey Batchelor, uh, social media content manager extraordinaire and copywriter. Uh, did I miss any credentials there, Casey? No. Okay. First, before we dive in, how are you with spicy food? I like spicy food, um, but I've had the last dab before, and it was really, really hot. Okay. So I'm a little nervous. See how this builds, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's dig into the arsenal here. Okay. First sauce is chili maple, one of Hot One's own. Okay. When you presented Creative Ideas last year, one of the things that stuck with me was a customized record from a business at the beach. How would you characterize the impact that music's had on your life? What genres do you typically listen to? And give me three bands or artists we should be listening to right now, either locally or streaming downloading. It's had like a huge impact ever since I was like in middle school. I would always listen to like what my brother was listening to. Okay. I thought like he was like so cool. Well, that's fine. I didn't even know you had a brother. Yeah, older cool. brother. In high school, I really started to get into like hardcore music. What do you What do you call hardcore? What does that mean like uh, like screamo or like death metal kind of things? Or it's not like death metal, but okay. um, yeah, I started to really get into that. In high school, I was straight edge. <laughs> okay. So I didn't like drink or anything. I had a bunch of other friends who were straight edge, so it was kind of like. A little community. Yeah, I mean, I'm still super into music. Um, it's still a major part of my life, so. Okay, so who are three artists or bands that we should be listening to right now? There's a local band called Bobby Kid that my friends are in. Um, yeah, the songs are great. They're all very talented. Um, there's one called Leaving Time. They're also from Jacksonville. The people in it, we like, all went to like the same high school district. Um, and a third part of it. I've been listening to a lot of Kendrick Lamar lately. Okay, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. So, moving on to sauce number two, one I've been looking forward to the uh, Curry Verde. A little thicker, this one. Okay. Get all the way there. The mullet, let's talk about it. Okay. It's, a, it's a bold style choice, uh, but it really works for you. Uh, when did you decide to go that route and what influenced your decision? Was it Miley Cyrus? No. It's okay if it was. It wasn't. Okay. Um, I think I cut my hair like this maybe two years ago. Oh, so it's, it's pretty recent then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I saw a bunch of people doing it. I love it. It's low maintenance. Okay. I definitely plus like it being a guy, I love low maintenance. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like for, for women to maintain their hairstyle yeah, and stuff. It's low maintenance. Yeah, and it's fun. Point of conversation. Mm hmm Icebreaker. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to number three. Uh, the lemon pepper sauce, a sauce that would make Leon Searcy proud. Are we batting three for three? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Cool. You're currently a graduate student at UNF, pursuing your master's degree in communications. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on that a bit and maybe share a singular concept or factoid that stuck with you that really resonated with you as a person? That's why this is fun. Um, I'm currently in a, it's like a management class. Um, and something that my professor talked about was being like, um, you have to be self-aware before you're able to lead or manage other people. Um, and that kind of goes into like your personality, like managing your emotions, being able to like communicate effectively. Aside from like management, it's just like the life advice. Okay, cool. On to number four. All right, I've been looking forward to this one too. Chocolate Ghost. And this is made in Honduras. I've had their stuff before and so it's been pretty good. And it is thicker than molasses. Okay. There you are. Mm. 
When we were compiling a list of horror movies internally, it was one of the, like, the top five times that I saw you get excited and seem like you were having fun with it. So give me your top three to five horror movies that you love the most, uh, and it could be because it's well written or just sheer scare factor. Hmm. I would say The Witch is probably in my top three. It's like a recent movie. Oh God, I was gonna say I hadn't heard of it. Yeah, that movie just like creeped me out. I love the original Texas Chainsaw. Wow, okay. Um, I don't know, I feel like older horror movies have like a different kind of like scariness to them. I don't know, even though there's like not as many like effects and stuff, mm -hmm. they still like creep me out. Um, there's one movie that I watched when I was in Japan. It's a Japanese horror movie. It's called, um, Writhing Tongue. Oh God. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really scary. Um, it's about, I think about a little girl that gets tetanus and it's just like her in the hospital. And it, it was it's probably like one of the most like scary movies I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, this would probably be a nice reprieve. I've had this one several times okay. and it's pretty good. So number five's taking it easy on us. Haven't had water yet. Good. All right. Make it halfway through. So you've always spoken very fondly about your mother, and she's originally from Okinawa, a place you've visited a few times. I've always been fascinated by Japan, its history, and its culture. Uh, first, do you want to take the opportunity to give your mom a shout out before you're preoccupied with keeping all the heat at bay? Uh, secondly, what are some cool differences that you enjoy about Japanese or Okinawan culture? Yeah, shout out to my mom. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> She's from Okinawa, um, tiny island, super south of mainland Japan. Yeah, it's crazy going there because like the culture is just like so different in a good way. Everyone is so nice. Yeah, the food is great. Mm -hmm. People, I feel like people specifically in Okinawa, I don't know about mainland Japan, but like <clears throat> the pace of living is like slower. Really? I don't know, I feel like they're kind of like living in the present kind of. Okay. Like they're very late Enjoying back. the moment. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy compared to like America. Things that uh, I really remember, like all the lights were like fluorescent rather than, you know, like a, an incandescent bulb. Mm -hmm. Vending machines were a lot more colorful. Uh, when people smoked cigarettes, they preferred like menthols for some reason. There were like little representative cartoon characters outside of businesses, like pink elephants outside of yeah. pharmacies, <laughs> yeah. things like that that I remember. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. I love the vending machines. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're on the back half now. Ready? I need some water. Oh, first drink after number five. Okay. We're on the, the shark one. When I've watched the, the Hot Ones series on YouTube, oh. this seems to be the turning point one for everyone. Okay. But if Cardi B can do this, you can do it too. That was probably a little more than I wanted to so. say. Okay, you drive a Mini Cooper. I don't know yeah. anyone else that drives one. Would you say it's an extension of your personality or your personal style? Do you love it or is it just a practical vehicle with good mileage that gets you from point A to point B? Uh, some people also give their vehicle a name. Does your vehicle have a name? My car doesn't have a name. Um could take the opportunity right now. I call it like mini. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's a name, but um, yeah, I love that car. It's great when it comes to parking because I can fit anywhere. <clears throat> the only downside is that like, if I'm surrounded by like trucks or something, mm -hmm. or just like any SUV really, because anything is bigger than my car. This is spicy. <laughs> Um, yeah, it sucks because I, I can't see. Or like if I'm parked in between two trucks. Mm -hmm. Or like some people like go by a space and like, oh, there's an, there's an open space and like, oh, tiny car. Yeah, it's me, yeah. I love that car. I would say it's an extension of my personality. Okay. Do you think your next car will also be a Mini? I actually don't think so, no. What are you steering toward? A Subaru. Mm. <laughs> Okay, 
Let's move on to number seven before I die. I've, I've got a good feeling about number seven, which is probably where that feeling will stop. Aw, first one with a little styrofoam seal. Ooh, the milkshake does help. Oh, good. Oh, man, limping through this. That last one really got me. Mm hmm It's really jalapeno forward. As things get hotter, these questions are gonna be a little more rapid fire so we don't prolong the inferno in your mouth. So let everyone know what's your horoscope sign, your Chinese zodiac sign, your favorite color, and your lucky number if you have one. I'll come back to these if you forgot any of the things I listed. My zodiac, I'm a cancer, tried and true. Um, Chinese zodiac, I don't yeah. know. Oh, I'm a water pig. It's okay, you can look it up later. Okay. You'll figure it out. Okay. Color? Yeah, color. Um, I like green. Okay. Any particular shade? Like, do you like the lighter shades? or Like a forest green. Hmm. Um, yeah. And do you have a lucky number? For some reason, I've always liked the number two. Cool. Okay. I like that. I don't know if there's a meaning behind it, but... Okay. We've probably put this off long enough. Casey, what year were you born? 1999. <laughs> You're born in the Year of the Rabbit. Oh. Year of the Rabbit. Casey's a bunny. Yep. I don't feel it yet. Hmm, okay. As we stare into the caldera of Mount Doom in the form of the bomb, uh, real quick, what's your favorite animal? Name of your favorite teacher or professor you ever had, and what's a place you've always wanted to travel to that you haven't visited yet? I can't hear anything you just said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was the first question? Favorite animal. Um, in terms of a pet, cat. <clears throat> Any orange specific cat. orange cats? Okay. Um. <clears throat> favorite teacher or professor? It doesn't have to be current; it can be all time. Oh my God. Ooh. I had a professor last semester named Professor Lee. Loved him. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. And uh, finally, a place you haven't been yet that you'd like to visit. Mm -hmm. I've never gone to Europe. Specifically, I really want to go to Switzerland. Okay. Do some skiing, have some cocoa by a cuckoo clock? Yeah, the mountains look huge. I wanna go hiking in them. Oh God. All right, moving on to number nine. The sauce that I probably will hate. My eyes are watering. I hate that I have to do this with you. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You might like it. Yeah, worst sauce I've had in my life. Ew. Yeah, right? So I promise it's all downhill from here, but the heat will linger. So do you have any particular sports that you follow or support or even enjoy playing? If the answer is no, is there a video game that you enjoy playing now or a classic video game that you've had fond memories of playing? Okay. I enjoy watching, like, the drags okay. play. Um, now that they're not terrible, they're yeah. watchable. Okay. Sports that I play. I like to rock climb. Hmm. It's very fun. Um. <clears throat> Wait, what else? That was it. If you didn't follow oh. any sports or do any sports, I was going to ask you, you know, like as a fallback, like if there's a video game you're into. I play Animal Crossing. <clears throat> I love my villagers. That's the whole thing, Animal Crossing? Mm -hmm. Okay. On the Switch. I've played a little bit of um, Super Mario Melee. Okay, cool. Let's get it done. It's last dab time. Okay, I already have the cap off for you. Mm -hmm. Why is it way too much? It'd be over soon. Not counting this incredibly saucy chicken, 
Name three restaurants people need to be checking out right now and where they're at. Josephine. Josephine in Riverside. Italian restaurant, right? Mm hmm It's so good. Oku. Oku, okay. Jack Some Speed. Of the best, like, I don't know, just like fish I've had. Another one. I'm sure Tamara will edit this part out. <laughs> It'll go yeah, faster. I literally can't think of anything. You ever do hawkers or anything like that? Or? I don't want to like drag hawkers, but I feel like it's not as good as it used to be. And we're counting that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Casey Bachelor, you've conquered the, the nuggets of death here, going through 10 blazing hot pieces of chicken. So let people know what's going on in your life follow you on social media, whatever you'd like to do. Yeah, um, my Instagram is, it's Casey, but with a bunch of like A's out. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you can find it, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be working, I'll be doing school, I'll be having fun. Yeah, this was fun. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Casey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Back to work. <laughs> Honestly. Not as bad as you thought? No. I feel pretty good. Hmm.